Yo guys, what up? Me, Patrick LeVar. Uh, quickly, I wanted to share something with you guys. I'm working on this project. Um, I found this Instagram page. It was called blend52.com and they have these weekly rendered challenges. Normally, I'm not into challenges, but weekly in Blender sounded really cool because again, daily becomes very, you know, tedious and tasky, but weekly you get, you know, a whole week to work on this project. So, uh, it starts, uh, the 4th of January. So I've already kind of started, but they have these themes. This first week theme is retro. So I basically jumped in here using the Ian Herbert, uh, basically style of, 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 of uh, modeling. I've got just a lot of, you can see here, primitive shapes, right? I've just got like squares and rectangles and, but I'd use these image textures to map onto this to come up with something like this. I may go ahead and turn the render on and we got something like this. Really cool and it's simple to do. Very easy and not that difficult. All of these things here are basically just pics, images slapped onto these shapes here and I mean I'm, I'm like really happy the way this is coming out again the theme is retro so I got some VH tips in here some cassette tapes uh, a Rubik's Cube uh, again this here this uh, Sony thing here I actually modeled this uh, just basically again rectangles but slapping the material on there so really fast let me see if I can set something up really quickly here just to show you how easy it is to do something like this so for example if I just basically, let's say I just make a cube here, right? And again, one thing, okay, I've actually done for the first time ever is this whole scene is rendered to real world specifications. This Rubik's Cube is the actual size of a Rubik's Cube. That really made everything to me change. I've already posted some of the, a couple of pics before and after on my, Insta, uh, on my uh, Discord server and everybody liked pick two which was in scale versus pick one which would just you know you slap a cube on basically and you just start modeling if you for example like this cube here i normally will just take this cube and start modeling this is not to scale if you look at it this thing is 200 centimeters by 200 centimeters by 200 centimeters that's huge right so rendering things to scale is a big big difference so for example i'm going to go ahead let me just delete that really quick let's take so what I'm going to do quickly is just to show you guys, okay, I got to take this here and shift D duplicate. Let's pull it over here to the side. Boom. Okay. So here we go. Here's my box. It's already got this material on it. And, uh, if I double click R two times, you can just freely rotate around, right? So I'm going to rotate it so you guys can see it. And this is what we got. It's like, what is that? Right? It looks horrible, but check it out. If we go to the material editor and on this one that we're using here, I basically already have a material, VHS material, an image that I basically found on, on YouTube. Uh, what was it? VHS, black VHS type, right? And if you click over here, you can see what my image looks like. I think it was front. This is the image, right? Now, let's jump out of here. Let's go back to my, there. Press period on my notepad to zoom in. And let's go ahead and jump into the render view. If I click on this tab into here, here's my front face, right? So what I want to do here is basically I want to, uh, this is not matching, right? So we'll just click in here. I'm going to scale this up and then let's drag these edges here. G Y or G G X. Grab that there. Let's grab these two top pieces. G Y. Zoom that up. Same thing here. G Y. Drag that down. I'm just being really sloppy here just to quickly show you guys. And if we take a look here, boom, there's the tape, right? Super simple, super easy. And to even take it up another level, I've kind of just plugged this into the roughness and I've also kind of just plugged this into the bump just to give it a little bit of some, uh, you know, a little bit of more geometry basically not really geometry but just to make it kind of look a little bit more better than just a flat photo on there you can kind of see a little bit of that texture poking through and, and on the sides here you would do the same thing you would take this I can just basically take this right come into here scale that up on the side right and let's just go G just kind of hide it boom same thing on the bottom here scale that up G kind of just hide it somewhere right Boom, boom, boom. Now you just got kind of like the black tape on the side there. Super cool. But anyways, guys, I'll look, I can go on for hours and hours. I quickly wanted to share this with you. Uh, something I'm going to do is start January 4th. 
uh, basically we're going to post on the, on the Instagram again, blender 52.com is a thing. So if you're into something like that, you might want to take a look at, uh, doing something like it's very cool. Again, beginners, you know, they welcome all and it's really motivating to, to have a theme sometimes when you're trying to learn something, then the other just kind of like making stuff like random things with, you know, no emotion to it. This I've actually researched a little bit. I went on a pinch I was looking at retro photos and looking at retro pictures and just getting my ideas going and came up with this little scene here and I'm super excited about it. So Patrick LeVar, keep rendering and um, I hope to be posting some more stuff here for you guys soon. Let me know down in the description. I mean down in the description, down in the links, down in the comments of uh, anything, your questions or concerns and things like that. Other than that, keep rendering. Peace.